Hi everybody, this is Pam with Jesus Junk Journals and it's time to do our weekly Jesus Junk Journal Art, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus Art Journal Challenge and it's Q this week. So here's my quail page. So I'm gonna step away and cut these out here in just a minute, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull my two prompts. Let's see, add a button, all right. I think I can do that. And yikes. Well, this one jumped out. I'll take this one. Uh oh. The dreaded black and white. Oh no, this is a black and white copy of a family photo. Okay. All right. I I mean I can I can do it. I can work it in. Okay. So I'm going to, um, two things I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut these pieces out. There are actually two quail pictures for you to choose from if you wanna use them. And the two scriptures about the two times that God gave uh, the Israelites quail and then the letter Q. And then on the other, there's also an extra, let's see, where did it go? There's an extra page this time and I put extras for the different ones. And it has one that says, uh, God sends manna and quail. So if you want to cut that out, you can use it too. So I'm going to cut everything out. And then, oh, and I'm also going to put um, gesso on my pages. And then I will come back and we will start. All right, I am back. I cut my little pieces out. And I also, for this thing that said a black and white copy of a family photo, I printed out, <laughs> this is my husband and I when we got married years ago. So I'm gonna, I, I enlarged, it's kind of fuzzy, but I'm gonna put that down in the background and just, it's probably not gonna show, but it will be texture. So I'm gonna just, we'll see what happens. It might show, it might not show. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm going to tear it so that the edge is not a sharp straight line. So I'm just going to glue this on, first of all, on the big one using my matte gel. So I'm gonna move that over. And I thought I would just kind of talk about this for a second. We, we, I tend to just jump right into these things and I wanna stop and make sure we talk about for just a second what it is, so quail. So the first time the quail came, it says, Moses said, this will happen when the Lord gives you meat to eat in the evening and bread to the full in the morning. For the Lord hears your grumblings, which you grumble against him. And what are we? Your grumblings are not against us, but against the Lord. So it came about at evening that the quails came up and covered the camp. And in the morning, there was a layer of dew around the camp. When the layer of dew evaporated, behold, on the surface of the wilderness, there was a fine flake-like thing, fine as the frost on the ground. And so that was the manna when it first came. So, and then, the second time, so that was in Exodus 16, and then over in Numbers 11, there was a second time, and it said, the rabble who were among them had greedy desires, and also the sons of Israel wept again and said, who will give us meat to eat? We remember the fish, which we used to eat free in Egypt, the cucumbers and the melons and the leeks and the onions and the garlic, but now our appetite is gone. There is nothing at all to look at except this manna. Now there went forth a wind from the Lord and it brought a quail from the sea and let them fall beside the camp about a day's journey on this side and a day's journey on the other side, all around the camp and about two cubits deep on the surface of the ground. The people spent all day and all night and all the next day and gathered the quail. He who gathered least gathered 10 homers and they spread them out for themselves all around the camp. 
while the meat was still between their teeth, before it was chewed, the anger of the Lord was kindled against the people, and the Lord struck the people with a very severe plague. So, you know, you ask the Lord for things, but these these people didn't just ask the Lord for things. They complained. And so I think that's the lesson for us is don't complain. You know, it's okay to ask the Lord for things, but don't gripe and complain. So that's our lesson. <laughs> so I am going to, I think I'm going to put the big quail and the two scriptures on the big art piece. And then on the smaller one, I think I'll use this other picture of the quail. And, oh, where's my cue? Um, there it is, that goes on the big one. And then make my own cue, like I usually do for um, the smaller journal. So uh, the manna, you know, is, is discussed in these two. And so what I thought I would do is use this stencil with these dots and use this in it somehow or other. And that will be symbolic of the manna that they gathered. So, and it was funny because they talked about the leeks and the, and the garlic and all that, that, that they ate for free in Egypt. So they completely forgot that they were slaves and had to work like crazy for the Egyptians. And yes, they fed them, but only so they could work for them. So it wasn't free. They were definitely earning their keep. But it's there for us to learn too. It's like, isn't it funny sometimes when you look back on things and you you remember the good old days, <laughs> you know, and things weren't always as great as you remember them to be. So I am working on this project. I am working on this, huh, this very exciting journal and it's going to be the wisdom journal and it's got all sorts of pockets and flaps and all sorts of things on it. I'm very excited about it and I've got it done but now I need to do the part where I give you the scriptures to put in it and it's going to be the book of Proverbs and so I am having quite a time figuring out what to do because first I thought well do I print the whole book of Proverbs do I you know put that do they I put that out there so you can print it out and put that in the book because the book's big enough to hold it but oops but it just, that didn't seem right. So then I started sort of editing and shortening and some of the ones I, I all the scriptures about sons, avoid the prostitutes and that sort of thing. <laughs> I cut those out and just tried to edit down to things that I thought people would really use the most. But some of them I have to put the whole proverb and so they're pretty long. So anyway, I'm struggling with that right now but hopefully it will not be much longer before I get this thing out there for whoever wants to do it. And I cannot wait, it's gonna be exciting, I think. Because it's so cool. The format of it is the folds and the pockets and the everything I think is just really cool. Oh, and also the artwork I'm using is like kind of a springtime stuff because it's, uh, I'm using um, seed catalog old seed catalog uh, covers, and um, oh, just a bunch of new imagery that I think you're really gonna like. So anyway, kind of excited about that. Okay, so I think I know what I'm gonna put on each one, but I'm gonna go ahead and paint a background. So I was kind of debating over what color to make the background because you know they're in the wilderness and so it's probably browns and I don't know, maybe some green. So I just was kind of like, ooh, what do I do? So um, of course it's the artistic interpretation of it, right? So I am not clear. How about that? <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm gonna do some yellows and some greens, I think. So, 
I haven't done, and some maybe, I don't know, some browns, but I'm gonna start out with um, this. So these are the goldens I've got, let's see, um, that Quinacridone Azo Gold, Nickel Azo Gold, and I've got um, yellow. Okay, I I know that was short and didn't take much effort, but I think I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, let's dry for the most part. Just a little bit of a little bit there. Okay, so I'm going to use um some burnt or no some raw umber. I think that's what I want to use. And kind of go back over. It's gonna reactivate this ink, I think. Okay, well that was a lesson to, to learn. So don't do this anymore without putting plastic on it for sure, because it kind of went everywhere. Texture just to use on a paper towel. All right then. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry completely and then I will come back to that. Meanwhile, well, I'm going to try, I kind of want the same color background, so I think I'm going to do pretty much what I just did on the other one. Okay, I'm gonna dry it like that. And then I'll be back. This looks pretty crazy, huh? But for most of these, as you've probably figured out, they are really just a background, sort of a texture background for the words and the focal point that we put on them. So I'm not too concerned yet. <laughs> not yet, I might be later, but. I am going to, um, I think the next thing is I'm going to put this mana on and I'm, I want it to be solid white. So I'm going to use, 
really thick gesso. Oh, here it is. My really thick gesso that I got from Walmart. This acrylic gesso. It seems to be the thickest. And I'm going to just put it through the stencil. Hopefully it will be pretty solid. So I'm going to get one of these credit card, art credit card things, and get some of this gesso and just start as best I can putting mana down. Okay, it's going underneath. That's not what I wanted. Oh, well. <laughs> it looks kind of mechanical. I don't think the mana dropped quite like that, but it's symbolic of the mana. So I'm all right with that. And I'm going to turn it. And that is my mana. All right, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the small one. symbolizing the man on that one. All right. Let me get Since I don't have a sink up here, I have to put my stuff in a plastic uh, wash tub and put some water on it so it doesn't dry on my stencils. All right, so I am going to get my blow dryer and dry these and then I'll be back. Okay, so while that was drying, I went through my buttons and I was looking for some little white buttons because I thought, well, I could glue those on and sort of symbolize mana too. So I found some. So that is my plan. I'm debating. I think I need to use uh, that, what is it, R600 or whatever it is to glue them on. So that's probably going to be the last thing that I glue on. Um, so as it dried, I don't know if you can see it. I hope there's not a big glare, but, but the photograph is back there. You can see us. <laughs> And so to me, it's kind of symbolizing like, yes, this is an Old Testament story, but it applies to you guys too. So we're back there. <laughs> so here's my quail and I need my cue. Let me get some ink put on my cue and I'll start to glue the different pieces to it. cut that line in half because I didn't want to obscure his face any more than it was already obscured. So, All right, so let's see if we can squeeze the second time over here somewhere. It's going to need a little bit more editing, I think. I think I'm going to edit. I'm going to leave out all the descriptors about how far the quail fell. 
and just, I'm gonna leave those two lines out. Okay. Well, I edited some lines out <laughs> that talked about, just kind of gave more description of how many quails they got. I left those out, so I'm gonna discard those. So there is this one, and then I'm gonna come back and do the buttons at the end. And then I've got this one. And I'm just gonna glue that on there. Okay, so I think it's pretty dry. It's, you know, I always tell you guys, let it dry, let it dry, let it dry before you use markers or anything. And then I come on here and kind of do what I tell you not to do. But I'm going to write uh, on this one, I'm gonna put quail and mana because I didn't get that on this one. Okay, quail and mana. And let's see, what else was I gonna put? I think that was it on this one. I went ahead too and glued on the I, the two prompts, the add a button and the uh, black and white family photo. So I'm gonna lay this over here and come over to this one. And I wanted to put the scripture, uh, the addresses for them. E6000, I think I said R6000 earlier. E6000. Okay, I think that might be enough on that one. I guess that's all I got, so I'm gonna stop. Okay, so that is it for my cue. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching that. And um, if you did, please click the like button and think about subscribing. If you're just watching these and you haven't done it yet, come on and start now. Don't, it's not too late. You can catch up and get them all done. And um, I also hope you guys are watching, or I mean, going back and looking at the ones that you've done already because I think that's so cool when I go back and look at them all as as like as a body of work it makes them all look better to me so anyway I will see you on the next video and I thank you for watching bye bye